PGD stands for Preamputation Genetic Diagnosis and is a very sophisticated way of looking at the health and vitality of human embryos. We can look at individual cells and obtain information which allows us to exclude specific conditions that might be affecting a couple. We can also use it to screen for common chromosome abnormalities which can randomly occur in any egg and any subsequent embryo development. The two basic reasons that we carry out PGD are, firstly, when we're trying to answer the question for a couple who have got a genetic condition within their family of whether their embryos might be affected. The second reason we carry out PGD nowadays is to exclude embryos that contain common random errors that occur in all human beings. Up to a frequency of 70% of embryos might be affected with common chromosome abnormalities. And it's very useful to consider this particular approach, especially in couples who've experienced miscarriages or previous failed treatments. PGD allows us to select embryos that are unaffected and therefore increases greatly the chances of a couple having a healthy pregnancy. The advice I'd give a family considering PGD would really depend very much on why they're, they're needing to, to use PGD. Uh, if it was for a single gene disorder such as cystic fibrosis, we'd need to discuss the uh, pros and cons of doing the, the PGD versus other options that are available to the family. So we're finding a lot of families are interested in PGD because they don't have to then go through testing when they're pregnant and make a difficult choice when they're pregnant. And for me as a geneticist, it's, a, it's important to understand where the families are coming from. PGD technology has come a long way and will continue to advance at quite a rapid rate. Venus Health PGD are leaders in this field because of our research and our clinical application and we will continue to make decisions that give our patients the best possible outcome and give them the best chance of a healthy baby.